Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these shower curtain covers for the xylophones and show you what they sound like. Um, I'm going to be covering a soprano xylophone in this video, um, but here's what I did as I measured xylophone and drew myself a little thing. I'm not much of an artist, I'm not much of a math person, so yes, I did have to do the math twice. That's okay. So I cut out a rectangle that is 35 inches by 21 inches and that's what I'm going to go do now and then I will do the next part. There's my rectangle that I cut out and here's my soprano xylophone. The next thing I'm going to do is take little pieces of packing tape and double them over so that um, when I put the shower curtain on top of the xylophone it doesn't slide around while I am um, trying to do the next part because the first time I did it, I discovered that if it moves, it can really kind of mess you up. So I'm just going to do that there. Now I will place my rectangle on top of my xylophone so that it hangs down just about to the floor on all four sides. And, um, and then I will press down my little my little corners. Now the next part is just a simple cut. So I am going to take my scissors and just cut from here to the corner of the xylophone. All right, so you can see I made that cut. This is not an exact science here. So now I'm just going to fold that over, cut off a little bit of this excess and then tape it. Um, I'll do that on all four corners and then I'll show you the finished product. And here is the finished product. You can see that I did all four corners the same way. I can easily take it off um, if condensation becomes a thing and I need to let the xylophones breathe at night. Anytime I had extra like um, curtain, I just kind of trimmed it off the edges. Um, this is the waist, in case you're wondering how much I had to trim off from my little rectangle, that's all. That's all I had left over. Um, I was just measuring with a yardstick, a Sharpie, and, um, and my own brain because after I did a couple with actual measurements, I decided that I didn't want to measure anymore and I would just do it myself. So anyway, that's how you make these covers and I hope that helps you and um, I hope we can get back to a world where we don't need them anymore really soon. So now I'm going to show you what they sound like. Um, I don't really think that the shower curtain adds any negative effects to, to the sound at all, but you can make your own choices. Here's a soprano xylophone. And here is an alto. There's a little bit of a buzz on a couple of the, the keys here, but um, for the most part, it's just like normal. So. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and happy instrumenting.